Hey guys, we're back with another video here. We're gonna be doing a uh, open and close video showing you guys how to properly open and close a 270 degree awning that I got from Open Road Off Road. Uh, it's a super slick awning, you guys will see it. It's got blackout on the top, it's 95% uh, sun blocking, the, and uh, it's got, it's freestanding, it's got legs if you need them. It's got this really cool little new style ratchet that they use. Um, super pumped that we got it. Um, let's get into it. I'll show you guys what it looks like and uh, how it functions. Hey guys, just wanted to show you the new uh, open road tent real quick, uh, or awning I should say. 270, pretty big, goes the entire length of my truck bed, which is uh, six and a half feet. Sorry, it's a little windy. I do this with one hand, so give me just a second, prepare it. I did want to see how it did in the wind, and the wind is definitely picking up. There's these three Velcro straps. Hold all your uh, canvas material in that go over top of you. Drops down like so. I like to flip this back and then get all the arms out. Once you get all the arms out, it's stick, stuck a little down there, but they're all out. You just go ahead and start pushing. Pull this guy with you. And then, uh, give me just a second. All right, I forgot to grab my uh, strap right here. Now we can just pull it in. And then it does have this little uh, ratcheting mechanism. I just hook it in right there on my rack. Pull it tight. And that, is all she wrote. Gives you tons of coverage, sun or rain. They do have a uh, awning room that I do plan on buying. It just zips right into here, all the way down. And then, yeah, you can see pretty decent amount of wind so far. It's not really going nowhere. Just a little bit of flapping. I'd say we probably have a good five to 10 mile an hour wind. It's nothing this thing can't handle. So this comes with these reinforced arms, super stout. They are all aluminum, but they are very well built. I mean, things not going nowhere. I just pulled on it pretty good, but yeah, that is the, uh, 270 awning from open road one last thing i mean all of these 270s as most people know they do have these arms you just unvelcro them they drop down super slick like so and i'm even up on a rock so it's a little taller than it normally would be but telescoping pull twist to tighten Gives you a little bit more stability. I'm not gonna pull them all out because I'm just gonna put it right back away. But uh, this is the version that has like the 95% blackout on the top. And in the heat of the day, it's significantly cooler under here. I will show you, they gave you plenty of cord. So if you can't get it tied off as close as I did, I mean, I do plan on just cutting this probably about right here. But yeah, um, super slick awning. Very, very easy and manageable to put up for one person. I just did it with one arm. So uh, I'll show you quick how it goes down. And uh, if you guys would like to get one of these, go ahead and use uh, code that Iowa guy when you're checking out. Right now they are on sale even. Okay. 
kind of does it itself. This is one part. Let me grab you guys real quick. One part I would like to show you is they do have this pivot arm right here. Oh, sorry. Not pointing where I'm looking. This pivot arm right here has to be pulled in or you'll make the mistake like I did and get a little uh, separation in your seams. I'm going to fix that. But easy enough. Let's pull this back out. And you see it does move. So just make sure you're, it's swinging in. And it's still a little tight. I, I loosened it once. And then you just give it a pull with both of these. There we go. Now it's not out. Uh, before there wasn't enough slack over here for me to actually pull this over and close because this pivot was pointed straight back. So yeah, just make sure right here, this little L piece, it will pivot out with the awning coming out. Make sure you get that closed all the way with it. Let's finish this up. Right here, we're just gonna be pulling the cover over. And then after I get the cover over, there's the three little slots for the Velcro to cinch into to tighten them. I'm just pulling over the rest of the canvas. Once that's done, we just roll up the rest of the canvas into the bag, cinch it down with those Velcro straps up there. Once all the Velcro straps are tightened, then just go ahead and find your zipper. This portion would have been hard to show during the daytime, but it does have these three LED lights that are installed. They have three functions and just plug into a USB.